So, Mr. Gardell, there is an affidavit which has been uh, provided to the court um, from the client, uh, Ms. Cochran. Uh, you can receive a copy of that. No, she has told me a report here today. I already called the FBI and reported Ms. Cochran there and Francis there to the FBI and filed a formal claim for violation of my constitutional rights. We'll Just got to move on. Oh, yeah, I'm not signing that. That's against the Constitution of the United States. Oh, no, to I did show up. I did report on the report date. I had somebody who come in and testify to that. Door was locked. Nobody was there. Because they dropped me off. And I told them nobody's here. Come back and get me. If you wish to. So are you saying that you committed the probation violation or that you did not? I did not. We will set this for a final probation violation. We shouldn't even go any far of this. The United States Supreme Court says all public officials are videoed as subject and re voice recording at all times. The United States Supreme Court trumps all courts in the land. I'm not saying anything about whether you did report that or not. Well, she said that's what I'm in here for. She's saying I'm violating not because I refuse not to bring my phone in. That's what this is about. That's what she's violating me for. This shouldn't go any farther. That should be dismissed. No, you can't do that, Miss Cochran, is what you should tell her. The United States Supreme Court says you are subject to video and voice recording at all times. Sir, I would suggest we get an attorney. I don't need an attorney. That's what the Constitution says, and that's what the Supreme Court decided, and it trumps all courts in the land. They don't want no evidence of their crimes. That's why they don't want the phone in there. Because I ain't met a one with any integrity yet. Sure. 